Hi guys, in today's video, I want to share with you a cipher I made with Python. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get started! Okay, so this is the cipher, and it says import vinegar. vinegar. And vinegar is actually the module the module vinegar was based off the name the vinegar cipher which i used for the encryption so we have two commands which is vinegar.encrypt for encrypting and vinegar.decrypt for decrypting so the hello world will encrypt it and using the key i love jam it will encrypt it to this and using this and copying this to uh, hold on bring this down using that using this key and I put it here this will decrypt it to say hello world now this can't decrypt unless it has the same key I love jam I L so I'm just gonna and the vinegar code is all here and it's all developed by me with a little research and the vinegar cipher is actually a polyalphabetic cipher. And polyalphabetic is kind of like the substitution cipher, which encrypts the letters at a time. So if we look here, you can see this is the guy who was named after the vinegar cipher. Even though he did not develop it, he is the one who they named after, which his last name is vinegar. Anyways, the vinegar cipher hasn't been able to find out how to decrypt without the, for three, I think it's for 300 years, and was not able to be decrypted for 300 years until a guy named Alan Turing could decrypt it. And this is him looking like Alan Turing. Anyways, back to our code. I based the vinegar cipher off of this. So it's um, the way vinegar cipher works is that if I hold on, let me new, don't save. So the vinegar cipher needs a letter to to um, encrypt. So we're going to talk about the encryption process. So the encryption needs a key. So this key will just have to be. I love jam. And I love jam is our key. Next, our message will be um, they are coming. Coming. They are coming is our letter. But for this to work, we have to turn these into numbers. But since I love jam is only for eight let is only eight letters long and message the message is 13 letters long i'll just have to add more so i'm not going to add another one i'm just going to say i love jam until it is 13. so i'll just put i love and that's all i love jam until say i love jam for until it reaches 13. So if we just need to add these, but we need to turn them into numbers. So Python has this thing called the um, Unicode code, which the Unicode code has um, the symbols of the letters into and has the numbers for the letters too. So the number for the specific number for A is, um, 65 and the specific number for Z is 90. So if we want B, we just have to add one, one digit and it'll be 66, which is B. So if we just turn all these letters into uh, numbers and the message to numbers too, and we add them up and they'll equal to, they'll equal to uh, random types of numbers. Now this number so can be turned into letters. So all I have to do is turn these numbers back into letters and we'll have our very own random number. 
or I mean a random word. So this random word, how do we, we've successfully made our random encryption, or I mean our random, but our encryption for this. So what is the decryption so that we can read it? So the decryption goes like this, and we just use the same key, I love jam, I love. And we use the same key, turn these back into numbers, and then instead of adding them, we'll have to subtract them. So if we just, um, it, it will be equal to back into the message, they are coming. So that's how basically the vinegar cipher works. The reason why I chose this, oh, it's because of its simplicity of the cipher, plus you can decrypt and encrypt, which will be really useful, but you have to tell the people what the key is. So if we go back here, um, we'll have this, and we have two here, these modules, and these are the letters. They need a key, the key, and this will this will be the message, this will be the key. And yeah, that's all for this episode of showing you the encryption of my Vinegar Cipher. And I hope you like this video and subscribe. Bye!